New at five, immigration advocates and dreamers descended on the U.S. Supreme Court today for arguments over the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program, or DACA. Without DACA, about 700,000 young undocumented immigrants risk deportation. CBS 4's Katherine Johnson is at the Supreme Court with more on the day's proceedings. <laughs> Young undocumented immigrants, known as Dreamers, emerged from the U.S. Supreme Court cheering after the nine justices heard arguments on the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program, known as DACA. We will win. Karen Reyes was inside the court for the arguments. She is one of hundreds of thousands of Dreamers who could face deportation if the court rules against the program. I'm hoping that with all the amicus briefs that were also filed, that they read those thoroughly and, you know, see our stories. The Obama administration created DACA to protect young people brought to the U.S. illegally as children from deportation. The program also allows them to obtain work permits, but the Trump administration ordered an end to the program, saying it was created illegally. Former Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano, who oversaw DACA, disagrees. This is a valid exercise of the executive's authority. The justices will consider three lower court rulings that the Trump administration acted improperly when it ended DACA, and it did not provide an adequate reason for doing so. President Trump tweeted Tuesday that some DACA recipients are far from angels and that a deal would be made with congressional Democrats to allow recipients to stay if the court overturns the lower court's rulings. The Congressional Hispanic right, Caucus members agree. say the White oh, House doesn't have a good track Washington record Johnson for discussing Florida. immigration. Stephen Miller would be the lead for the White House in terms of trying to do something right for the Dreamers. I'm not very optimistic of that. The Supreme Court's decision isn't expected for several weeks. Katherine Johnson, CBS News, the Supreme Court.